Welcome back to the 75 gallon mixed reef aquarium. My name is Jason and this is my mixed reef going on six and a half years. Just want to do a quick update documenting some of the changes. No new equipment, no new livestock, focusing mainly on the corals. Starting off in the center, I ended up cutting um, a piece right there uh, because it was shading that SPS um, and then also impacting that Recordia Florida sometimes it would lay down on it as a, I guess a tactic cool warfare um, so I moved it over here uh, since it's a soft coral I attached a rubber band to it and then I'm either going to place another torch coral over here Hopefully, I'm um, not too interested in paying three, four hundred dollars for a torch coral, but we'll see. Something with a little bit of um, perhaps orange or purple, I think will go well. Hopefully, the soft coral will attach to the back, um, and if not, it'll just float off and it'll attach somewhere and uh, we'll just uh, deal with it at that time um, I moved the bubble coral the wild one to the back um, I think if you go back in some of my previous videos the the purple wild bubble coral um, has basically moved all over the tank it is very aggressive um, I don't want to get rid of it so I'm gonna park it in the back and then hopefully um, over time, I upgrade um, or rehome it. So the corals on the back wall are doing good. Let's see if we can zoom in. And then I have the Tunzi 6040s. They're normally up front, soaking in citric acid. Uh, for 24 hours and I just noticed this broke off so I will be plucking that off and gluing that down the next time I put my hands in a tank and then I went ahead and put these on some I think these are aragonite um, upside down so I pulled the, I think that's a Favia, green Favia. I pulled that from over here, back in there. And then the uh, ORA red Ghanaipora, it used to be um, actually the rock um, that it was attached to. And the actual coral used to lean up against the glass, so I, I cleared off that area. I trimmed back. These, uh, I guess, orangey red zoas. Um, and then, I don't know, that purple Ghani pour. I'm not sure how that's going to work out. I may need to move that. Uh, you can barely see it. Hold on. So it's back there. Um, I don't know if it's going to have enough room, but we'll see. I may put it right up there, front and center. Uh, but I'm not sure if it likes a lot of light. These are two new additions. Um, they're also Ghana Poor, um, orange, reddish orange, lime green variety. We'll see how those do. Um, this coral was a rescue from the back of the tank. Um, it's an SPS. There's a small frag of it over there. And Side view of the tank. Um, I did trim some of the soft coral that was over there. Um, it was back behind that orange recordia. And so I trimmed that back. And let's see, SPS Valley is doing pretty good. Uh, I am up to, 
dosing nine grams of alkalinity daily. Uh, the red sea powder is what I dose. Um, the calcium reactor is still on, but it's offline. I need to refill the CO2 tank. Uh, let's see what else. Um, looking into, um, let's see, torch coral and maybe a yellow chorus ras, but I'm really not, I don't know, I just, I hate putting one fish in, so if I do a fish, it will more than likely be maybe two or three, um, so I'm not sure. Um, what I'm going to do there, but it will disrupt the whole ecosystem. So usually when I put fish in, I'll move some of the rocks around to help switch up some of the territories that have formed. Um, the yellow tang is doing really well. He's very aggressive. He's not aggressive, but uh, he started attacking the... Um, like whenever I stick my hands in the tank. So if I get too close to him. Um, but he is growing. All the fish are getting big. I'm feeding them. The same stuff. Uh, San Francisco Bay brand. Um, I bought a round of the PE Mysis. Um, and then. Uh, let's see. The New Life Spectrum Algae Wafers. Still feed those. Three of them. Um, let's see, two to three cubes of San Francisco Bay Bram, and then um, every now and then Easy Reefs, um, the cubes, and probably do for a water change, 20 gallon, haven't done a water change pretty much all summer. Um, the new Kessel lights are doing well. I did adjust the photo period from 10 and a half hours down to 10, and I will be increasing the intensity of the light roughly 5%. And I think that is about it. Um, I'm sure there's more. But overall, pretty happy with the growth. Just having to keep an eye on the overgrowth of corals. Be mindful. Um, I did frag the trumpet coral in the center and that opened up and let's see I just saw that I have lost a frag that used to be here so uh, let's see anyway so it opened up this area uh, and find it so anyway there was an orange frag right down in there but ah there it is so it's back in there so I gotta stick my hands back into the tank um, it's been a while since I've had my hands in the tank um, so that's the orange frag I need to glue it down I will pluck that out and glue it somewhere and that's a quick update um, overall things are going well and mainly relying on the cockwasser um, five gallon container uh, try to think maybe 800 mils 700 mils per day on and off every 30 minutes 1.1 mil and then usually it takes me probably six days or so to go through that um, and it just consistently just dose and so that plus the nine grams of Red Sea alkalinity powder and then uh, occasionally on the weekends every two weeks or so I'll check calcium and magnesium um, but overall all the parameters are doing well I check out alkalinity daily and I keep an eye on the salinity checking out the, um, the new controller that hit the market and picking up some supplies for the coming year. If you have any questions, concerns, thoughts, feedback, 
just leave it in the comment section down below. All right, just want to do a quick in-video update. I did stick my hands back in the tank and plucked out. This is a Sunset Monty. For some reason, it had fallen down into where those Zoas are. Uh, the Oompa Loompa, the orange, um, the Halle Berries are over there. And then I did move the Purple Ghani, glued it back up there. So hopefully it works out in that area. I didn't realize how large the um, red Ghaniapura had grown over the years. Um, and so it is touching the Recordia Florida. So I had to move a couple of those over to the other side. I did put that frag that had broken off back there. Um, that is a magnet on the back of the glass with the Fiji rock and never talk about this too much but before I put my hands in a tank I actually wash them down with rubbing alcohol just to ensure that I get any type of oils or lotion things like that um, my go-to glue is the IC gel I started buying that in the 50 gram size I really love that size and then the BRS um, citric acid for the Tunzi 64s and a quick shot of the sump. Um, I definitely run a dirty sump. Uh, Refugium light, Kessel H160. Looking into picking up an algae reactor, hopefully, this winter. And then, of course, my skimmer is the Tunzi 9415. Um, it's about due for a cleaning. And then on the other side, uh, a much brighter shot of the calcium reactor which is on but the co2 is currently offline um, i am back on manual dosing alkalinity and to the right of that you can't see it but there's the five gallon caulk washer container and there's my little sps valley um, area and then i'll just do another quick pan of the tank recently replaced the uh, carbon um, 100 grams was swapped out and if you're new to the channel welcome new subscribers and um, be sure to hit the thumbs up if you like the video or thumbs down either way the feedback is always welcome and I will see you on the next update